this is Supriya Gautam from Cosplay Genie powered by Nordwin Gaming and today I am going to show you another cosplay crafting video. So recently I started playing Clash of Titans game and I kind of like it and I decided to cosplay from this game and I chose Vera because she is absolutely amazing and I love her. So this tutorial will be divided into parts however picking a character from this game was not so easy because this game has so many designs, unique designs to choose from. And creating these videos take a ton of work to create so every like, share, click and comment is highly appreciated. So now let's start the tutorial. If you look at this character's costume, it isn't simple as it appears. It has ton of details with unique shapes and the most challenging part will be sewing for me because I don't have enough knowledge of it but I will try my best to achieve a close look of the costume. Also, this character has huge wings and this is the first time I'm cosplaying a character that has wings. So wish me luck with this project and to start easy, I decided to work on the hat first. So first we are going to take a white sheet of paper and then I am going to place a cap on it to get the rough measurements of it with the help of a black marker. Oopsies, I realized I just made a mistake. I was hoping to get a close down shape but anyways we are going to fix it. I think it's working. And yes, we are getting there. And now we are going to cut it. While cutting this, you need to make sure to cut along with the marking so that you don't ruin the pattern. So the pattern is ready and now we need to work on the brim of the hat. So with the help of the black marker, I am roughly creating the outer circle. Well, I am a freehand drawing person. As you can see in the video, I am being a little bit shaky over here. So in that case, what you can do is leave an extra space while creating the pattern and later you can make changes into it. And here again, you have to be very careful while cutting this pattern so that you don't mess it. Now I'm going to remove the inner circle because I have to create a space for my head. So the brim of my hat is ready and now in the next step, I am going to trace it down onto the foam sheet. So in this step, you need to make sure that your markings are up to the mark. And here I am tracing the other circle as well. This is going to be the top of my hat. Step, I am marking the circumference of my hat and now I'm going to cut it. Here I am applying adhesive on ends of the circumference and spreading it out so that we don't leave any lumps between. And now gently pasting them together. Removing the extra foam. Here I am marking the circumference of the hat so that we know where do we have to apply the adhesive.
applying adhesive on circumference as well. Now pasting them together. Marking the top of the hat and cutting it out. And here I am working on the goggles. So first we are going to make the frame of the goggles and for that I am cutting a semi ring. So the semi ring is ready and now in the next step I am going to apply adhesive on each end and paste them together. So the required shape is now achieved. I also made side straps of the goggles. Placing a shell in between according to the design of the goggles. I am done with the framing and in this step I am working on the details of the hat that is the headband. In order to achieve a clean look of the hat I am marking the area where I have to apply the adhesive and then I am going to paste the headband over it. You see how neatly it's being done. Now removing the extra part of the foam. And now I'm going to coat this hat with two layers of synthetic glue in order to get a pure glossy finish. And finally it's time to paint this hat and for that I am mixing this golden dry powder with the brown acrylic paint. Now let's do the paint job. So painting is my favorite thing in building a cosplay. Now covering the top of the hat. Painting the frame as well. Other accessory too.
covering the frame with a golden dry powder in order to get the golden finish. See how pretty this looks. And I am really happy with the results of my hat. It's like really really glossy. In order to enhance the look of the hat, I am using this golden dry powder on the edges. Spreading it out with the help of my fingers. Adding more golden powder. And the top is done and now it's time to work on the circumference. I think the golden powder worked really well. I am really happy with the results. Now removing the tape from the headband because I have to paint it blue. So for the goggles, I decided to add LEDs into it and for that I am separating these wires from each other. So in order to solder the legs of the LEDs with the wires, I needed a hand. So for that I am using tape so that it does not move from its place. Here I am using heat resisting tube so that the soldering does not so I wanted a series of two LEDs so I made another one and joining them together. Here I am pasting them inside the frame. I did not want the switch to stay outside the hat, I wanted it inside, so I'm just creating a hole into it. So the connection of the battery and the switch is going to be the same way just like the LEDs. Now inserting the wires of the LEDs into the hole so that I can attach them with the wire of the battery and the switch. So here I am soldering them together so I wanted these connections to stay at their place so I just taped them with the hat so the lighting is working properly as you can see from the side and now it's time to add this accessory for the final look And now it's done. So 
I hope you guys like this tutorial and do let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions regarding this tutorial. Hit like and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the next part of this tutorial. This is me Supriya Gautam signing off for now. See you soon.